Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Friday, May 31st, 2013. For the volatility index, the dollar rated put call ratio on the VIX, we have a bearish reading on June, August, September, October, and November, with 38% of the total premiums paid on, Janu on Ju June. And then on July, we have 28%. And the other one important was November with 24% of the total premiums paid. The overall dollar weighted put call ratio is bearish today. As you can see here, we have a down day. Also, let's go to the charts. Here we have the daily chart for SPX. Look at this big bar, red bar, down 1.4% for the day. Bearish chart here. We were up in the morning and then we sold off on good econ data. As you can see here, we took off the lows we talked about yesterday. And now the next target, 1600, that's going to be what I'm looking here on the downside. So very important if we go to the weekly chart. Here we have it. And as you can see it here, we have it basically a flat week. But the important thing was we're starting to turn to the downside. I'm looking for this downturn to continue until that 1600. Let's go to the um, queues. Queues today down 1% as you can see it here and we have not yet taken that low but pretty close there I'm bearish here looking for 72 and then 71 going to IWM IWM down 1.1% for the day still not taking out previous lows I'm bearish here I think we're going for 95 is the next target on the metals we look at the metals we t yesterday talked about being bearish we continue to be bearish down two percent today and uh, as you can see here i believe we're coming to test this 130 level so i continue to be bearish until that level slv down two and a half percent for the day pretty bad day for slv bearish we're looking for 20.8 as the next target and going to stocks apple big reversal here for apple as you can see here down 0.4 percent for the day we wanted to see a confirmation here we went up as high today as a uh, 457 finishing at the lows pretty much and the 100 day moving average we're still above it today but very close to it i am not gonna get bullish on apple here i think we're gonna break down here and come and test this 50 day again of 435 Google, we were bearish on Google yesterday. We talked about 440. I continue to have that target and nothing's changed here. Amazon, here we have the daily for Amazon up one, almost 1% 1 on a down day. Uh, if we could break this previous high here of 275, we could still co come and test the previous highs here, but uh, we have to break that level first. I am not trading here Amazon. We have the, here we have the ETF for the Japan hedged equities. Here we have it, this big sell-off that, that has happened on the Nikkei. And today we were down 2.4. The important, we broke the 50-day. That's going to be important. I expect it maybe come to 44 and then we start maybe get bullish. I am bullish long term on this one. But we'll have to see how the Nikkei starts to rally first. And let's look, let's chart Netflix up today, continuation for tomorrow, bullish here. And Goldman Sachs, here we have it, down 1.4. Ah, uh, nothing bad here, just taking a break. I am not bearish, but I'm starting to get less bullish.